Jerry Buss, part owner of the Lakers, also passed away over the weekend at the age of 80. He died due to complications related to cancer. Um, now, he basically took the Lakers and turned them into the empire that it is today. I didn't know this about Buss, but he's actually the one responsible for incorporating the Laker girls mm -hmm. uh, in the shows or in the games, I should say. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, of course, this is sad news. Everyone in L.A. and everyone in the ba basketball world is saddened by this. Another thing that he did was he signed Magic Johnson onto a 25 year, 25 million dollar contract, mm -hmm. which is incredible. Yeah, and look, so he had a couple of ideas. One is, hey, let me buy these uh, Lakers when they're... C at the time, it was the biggest sports deal ever because he bought the Kings, he bought the mm -hmm. Lakers, etc. It was in the ballpark of about $67 million. There was a lot of property thrown in. The Laker portion of that was smaller. Um, now the Lakers are worth a billion dollars. So the different things that he did was he said, hey, you know what, why don't I set up my own cable network so I can make money off the television rights of the Lakers? Genius. Hey, why don't I sell the naming rights to the stadium when nobody else was doing it at the time? And did it, made a lot of money. It's kind of annoying, but it made a lot of money, yeah. right? Laker girls, all these different innovations, Jerry Buss. But that's not why I love Jerry Buss. One, he was incredibly generous with his players, which by the way, worked out great for him. 34 years running the Lakers, 10 championships. So almost a third of the years, they won a championship with just one team. That's amazing! They had a run there where um, they had gone to the NBA Finals 16 times, uh, in fact, in that 34 years, mm -hmm. right? In the, in the entire run. Do quick, some, math, some quick math on that. Almost half of the years that Jerry Buss ran the Lakers, they were in the NBA Finals. Mm -hmm. That's beyond amazing! So like, some people are stingy. I, I'm gonna randomly connect it to politics here. Just, I didn't mean to. It's just top of mind. They're like, oh, I want to keep all the money. I, I don't want, uh, you know, lower. Uh, I don't want higher taxes. I want lower tax cuts, etc. All this stuff, right? Uh, and then some people are like, hey, you know what? If you actually pay some amount of money and you s spread the wealth around, as they would derisively say, the Republicans, it actually comes back to you. Of course. Right. Yeah. So now he's a great businessman, and I don't know what his politics were, but. He paid a lot of money to the to Magic, to Kareem, uh, on and on, and he made a lot of right decisions, trading for Kobe in the beginning, et cetera, bringing in Shaq. But part of the reason Shaq came was because he had set up this mecca of you know, treating his players well, and uh, et cetera. And then the th other thing that I love about Jerry Buss is he was a Mac dad. Yeah, so apparently he had a bunch of Hollywood starlets on his arm, uh, you know, during his career. He, was he wasn't playing. Yeah. No, no, look, the, 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 he was 80 when he passed away. Into his 70s, he was going out with 20 some odd year olds. Mm -hmm. That's a player. No wonder he was good to players. I he mean, is a player. I mean, he's a player because he's <laughs> tremendously wealthy and he owns the Lakers, of course. No, no, no it's probably gonna... all based on his personality. <laughs> <laughs> but so, so what? I don't care what it's for. No, I, mean, I, don't, I don't. Jake, Jake, Jake. If you were super wealthy and you were single, I guarantee you, especially in a place like Los Angeles, you will have a ton of 20-year-old floozies that are willing to sleep with you. Yes. <laughs> okay. No, and look, some people are like, oh, I want to earn it. It has to be about my personality. If I'm 75 and I'm thinking tick-tock, tick-tock, 25 year old wants to go out with me, a hot model from LA. I'm not asking why. Do you think <laughs> I don't need to have that conversation. This is maybe an inappropriate question, but at the age of 75, do you think you're gonna have the same sex drive that you have now, or the same sex drive that you had like a long time ago? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What would you know about my sex drive from a long time ago? No, I don't know, but I'm saying like. <laughs> All right, here's my answer to whether I'm still gonna have a strong sex drive at 75. <laughs> Of course. But you don't know that. You don't know that. <laughs> okay. Well, here's what we know. Jerry busted. Right. And uh, great credit to him. Uh, made a ton of money. Loved. Did what he loved. Uh, basketball, mm -hmm. uh, among other things, of course. And uh, and was a player with the uh, ladies. Win, win, win. A life of winning. Yeah. He's what Charlie Sheen wanted to be.